This is a miracle. No, 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 walk around, see how it feels. I haven't touched your foot yet. I don't have any pain. I, I, I. 89, 90%. I haven't even touched your foot yet. I, I, I. What seems to be the problem? I have a lot of pain in my foot when I walk and I walk, uh, when I go to much or when I wake up in the morning and my ankles are hurting me and sometimes my knee. So you have your right ankle and your right foot pain. Did you get into any kind of accident to your right ankle or right foot? Yes, I had an accident, not an accident. I, I just fell down okay. very frequently and the last falling down that I had, I broke the meniscus and uh, I don't know what else, the cartilage, brotolian cartilage. So, so you but had a right knee problem, so you had right knee injuries? Yes, but, uh, but my, usually my foot hurt. I used to be a teacher uh -huh. uh, at the university or giving workshop and I remember that after the classes I had to put the, the foot in warm water with salt or, mm -hmm. or baking soda because uh -huh. they were hurting me so much. So it's been going on for many years? Of the, yes. And then since your knee injury, has your foot pain gotten worse? Of course. Okay. Very, very, very hard. And you have a lot of pain, yes? So I'm going to go ahead and test the strength of your ankles and I'll go ahead and then talk more about your problems, okay? Okay. Alright. Go ahead and push down, please. Push down? Push down, yes. Oh, it's quite strong. That's good. I'm going to ask you to push up. Okay, that's okay. Push out, please. That's a little weak on this side. Do you notice this? Yeah. Is it, is it painful right here, outside? So you're pushing out with the right ankle outside. That's a little painful. Can you push it in, please? That's actually a little weak too, but both sides are actually equally weak, which means that you have a weakness in both of the ankle ligaments. This is supporting structure of your ankle. It's actually both weak. And this side, inside is a little weak. I'm going to ask you, I'm going to And it hurts from here to here. I'll be able to also discuss that with you exactly the reason why it's hurting you so much in a second, okay? Go ahead and push down with your big toe against my finger. Pain? We we go on the left side. Interesting, right? Push down. Okay. Push down. With the third finger. Push down. That's weak. Do you notice the differences? When you were pushing one, two, three, it was pretty strong. The fourth was pretty weak. Fifth one. You cannot really push down with your fourth and fifth. Do you notice that that there is remarkable weakness in your fourth and fifth? This is going to be the side of your foot. Go ahead and push out, please. That's weak. Do you notice that too? Mm -hmm. Push down, please. That's also weak. So I am noticing that you have weakness along the side of your foot this way, also to your fourth and fifth, fifth, um, fifth toes of your both. Left and right is actually equally weak. I also noticed that you do have a little bit of instability or um, lack of stability on your right ankle, especially inside and outside. Inside is supposedly equally weak, both left and right, but right side is also weak on the uh, outside also. This is the reason why you might be feeling as much. I'm going to do one more test on you. This is called Achilles. I'm going to grab your Achilles with my hand. Push down, please. That's really weak. Do you notice this? This is actually really weak. I'm actually moving your, moving your, as, even if you're trying really hard with it, you notice that it's kind of weak. You'll be able to notice the differences afterwards and then I'll be able to explain to you exactly what's going on with that. Yeah, walk toward me, please. Turn around. Okay. So this is you walking, right foot and left foot. The, the red symbolizes there is too much pressure and the green and yellow means there is not enough pressure. As you can tell, the right and left start with a lot of red on over here, but you notice that there is a lot more pressure on the front of your forefoot on the right side as opposed to your left side. Do you notice the differences? 
What this tells me is that you are not using your right and left foot it's the same. So how you're putting the pressure on your right foot is different from the left foot. How you're putting the pressure on the left foot is different from the right foot. And then let me break it by section by sections over here so that I'll be able to share those with you, okay? Few things that are actually very notable that I actually have to say to you. Number one thing is that both of your um, right and left foot has a, um, a lot of pressure that goes into your heel. That's one thing you, you're able to actually find out in, in this photo. There's a lot of deep red that are just overall in the back of the heel area. As we start to go over here, it becomes slightly different. By that I mean there, is, there are differences between the right and left foot. You notice that when you're putting pressures on the, on the front of the forefoot here, you are not putting any pressures on the left side. And then you are putting a lot of pressure underneath your first big toe and then on the second and third toe, as, as, as opposed to on your left side, you're not putting much pressure. This is actually at the same time, so whatever you're seeing here is actually um, the real, real time. time. Exactly. And as, as, um, as the time progress, you can see there's a lot of pressure that goes into front of your forefoot on the right side, but not so much on the left side. Do you notice the differences? Yeah. And as we start to go, voila. Even, um, even at this stage, now you are almost done with, the, uh, with your right foot. Now you start to put left foot, which means that your left foot, you're dragging it as opposed to the, um, the time of the right foot. So your left foot is slower in reaction. Also, you also notice that there's a lot of pressures on the side of the, um, side of the foot on the left side, but there's not so much pressure on the uh, right side. You notice the differences? Yeah, 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 of course. Green and yellow on the right side. But if I just go ahead and fast forward just a little few more milliseconds, you notice there's a lot of pressure on the left side, which means that there's a, definitely differences between right and the left foot. Yeah. So the, how you're walking is definitely giving some kind of problems on your foot pains also. As I am going to fast forward a few more slides, as you can tell, you're done walking with the right foot, but your left foot is still lingering. You see how much of there is differences in terms of time, yes? So it, so it means this. It means that your left and right is not the same. It also means that there could be some other problems that are happening at the same time as your foot problems are happening. Let me explain this a little further. Because of the, you told me you have a right knee pain, that could also play in roles of alternating or changing the way you walk to your foot. So that's something that I'm also going to investigate. I'm also going to go ahead and take a look at your low back. Depending on how your low back is structured and how it's functioning, it can also give um, differences in how you walk. So that's also another thing that I'm also going to take a, taking a look at, okay? So face up, please. All right, so this is your right knee. Tell me exactly where your pains are. There, where you have to it. So you have a pain lot, right like, here? A lot yeah, of pain? Yeah. So you got a meniscus problem right here. I suppose that I was, I was, I had a surgery. You had a surgery over here. When did you have a surgery at? On February 6th. So, so about four or five months ago. Yeah. Now the problems coming through your low back to your foot as I'm just running my finger through your low back, I already see there's a lot of heat, a lot of swellings on your low back. Wow. So I'm just gently touching your fifth lumbar and your fourth lumbar. It's painful right here, right? Oh, yeah. Low back. Yeah. Right oh, here. Yeah, a lot. How about right here? Ah, uh, worse. How about right here? Ah, uh, worse. So the, oh. so the, 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 the problem area that I'm actually touching right now is actually the one that is in responsible for the side of the foot. The so side? The side of the foot. You remember you had a uh, retention on the side of the foot? Uh, yeah. That's exactly where it's actually touching or where it's supplying the nerves. Oh. I'm going ahead and I'm also going to go ahead and touch this area. Pain here? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Right here. Here. There. And here. Okay. Shooting pain to your foot? Does the pain travel shoot to your foot? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So as you can tell, this is not just the uh, problems to your foot. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and then talk to you about your um, x-rays. Um, I'm gonna start with your back x-rays first before we get into your knees and your foot. But you might be asking, why am I talking about your back x-rays for your foot? Um, as you know, everything is linked, I and mean, you even told me yourself that you have foot problem traveling from your hip area down to your foot, 
and then I just did a simple test on you, and then during that time, there was a shooting pain coming from your low back area to your foot, yes? So what I'm trying to tell you is everything is linked. Everything is linked, and then this is the reason why you are um, getting your full evaluation to your entire body to see exactly what's going on, so that I'm able to tell you and then show you exactly what the problems of your foot is. Your foot problem may be in your foot, it could be somewhere else. So I'm just letting you know exactly what those are, okay? So I'm gonna go and orientate you for your film. This is you looking at me from, from the front, and this is you looking at me from the side. So this is you. And just by me not giving a lot of information, you can already see if there's something not right about your spinal x-rays. Why do I say that? You can already see that there is a um, stacking of your spine from here this way, and then very, very sharp angle go through this way. A lot of sharp angle also go through this way. A lot of sharp angle go through this way. And then as I'm going up, you can see there's a sharp angle that's all the way up through here. So the top part of your spine actually is not very much torqued. But this is what I'm worried about. Um, there's also rotation components to it, just, but just for the sake of the, um, the convenience and easiness and simpleness, I'll just explain to you exactly what the stacking looks like. So you can see that there are many different angles of your low back spine here this way. What it means is that there's a lot of pressure that goes into this part of your spine area. And any kind of nerve that comes from, from this spinal nerves right here is the one that actually is impacting your, um, your health. So foot health is actually, foot, um, foot nerves are actually coming from this area. And that's exactly where you have problems here. And then when I found a lot of um, heat and swelling, this is exactly where I found the problems. Furthermore, we also talked about you having a lot of weakness inside of the foot. The nerves for that is actually, actually comes from this area. And then little I know, I can also already see you from the side of the, your, of your spine right here. Right here is what I wanted to really make you to pay attention to. I don't know if you're able to see. This is you, this is your tailbone. Uh, let me see if I can actually zoom in out for you. So um, this is your tailbone here. This is where I found the problems to be. And then this is your fifth lumbar, which is going to be the last backbone of your body. And the fourth, three, two, one, looking from the side. You can already tell there is a slight difference between this disc over here as opposed to here. First of all, what is this? This is like a jelly-like substance between all the, all the backbones that keeps the bones to be functioning properly. It's this holes right here. You see the, the circles right here? Mm -hmm. This is where the, all the spinal nerves come out of. And this is where they affect all the, um, they feed all the uh, organs or movements, everything, sensation. It's all created from the nerve coming out through this holes here. And you can already tell, there's a less amount of holes in this area between the fifth lumbar and then, the, and then this tailbone called sacrum. You see there's a, a lot less amount of uh, spaces right here. Do you notice this? Mm -hmm. As opposed to some places like this. It tells me there's tremendous amount of pressures on this area impinging the nerves. And then I can already see it on this side. Like I said, there has been confirmation that there's so much torquing around in your low back area, as you can see, going from here, going through this way and this way. There's so much pressure on this side that can also, I can, I can totally understand that there could be some kind of problems on this area, giving some kind of degenerations happening to your lower lumbar area, affecting your foot health. This is one of the reasons why you're getting a lot of sharp shooting pain to your foot from your low back. Does it make sense with you? Yes. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about your knee problems. And same reason I'm talking about knee problems as I talk about your, your spine problems because your knee health can definitely impact your foot health. And this is no different. So you told me that you have a um, surgery to your right knees and I can understand why. This is called meniscus. As you can see, there's a nice spaces in between right here. But you already see that there's a less amount of space right here as opposed to all the other spaces right here. This is the reason why you have surgery on this side. You probably have degenerations or arthritis between the joints over here, making the meniscus or the jelly-like substance between two bones to be much smaller. So you might be grinding more bone-to-bone -bone on this side. I'm not saying complete bone-to-bone, -bone, but what I'm trying to say is that there's more pressures coming through this side. So this is the reason why orthopedic surgeon has um, provided surgeries on this side. 
All right, so this is gonna be your foot x-ray. This is gonna be your foot x-ray. I wanna be able to show you the R here means this, this is right foot. This is me looking your foot from the sides. So there's a couple things I wanna be able to show you before I go any further. Um, let me show you a couple things. Number one, um, you'll notice that there are a little more of like a fuzzy haziness all around the bones right here. It just means that there's more arthritis around your foot. It just means that there has been tremendous amount of pressure to your foot for many, many years that you are starting to develop extra bones or extra, the joint has been a little bit more worn out than other part of the body because foot, as we know, have to endure so much pressure on a daily basis. And this is one of the reasons why you're developing also small amount of bone spur right here because you are having to endure so much abnormal pressure. In this case, it's going to be abnormal pressure um, in this side. So this is the reason why you are having a little different looking kind of kind of foot. Also, one other thing that I also have to let you know is that although there is no broken bones, there's no problem with the um, the gross alignment or gross, um, um, I mean, the, the foot itself actually is in good alignment. You'll also notice that there's a small areas of the bones are still not in the right place. For instance, you'll notice that there are much larger gaps on the back of the ankle right here as opposed to the front of the ankle. Are you able to see that? Yeah. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. And then you might be thinking that, well, that's because I put maybe more pressures on this side. Mind you, just by looking at the, um, the ankle right here, this is exactly how you have, um, this is how you have stood straight up. So this is your 90 degree angle. So this is your normal. Does it make sense with you? It's not that you just lean toward a little more. It's just that this is how you are sent. This is how it's stuck. So I just want to be able to bring that to attention. This might be one of the reasons why you are having so much ankle pain. Less pressure, less spaces over here, more spaces on, in the back, which means that there could be some kind of a misalignment in this area that provides you with even more instability to the right ankle. Not the only reasons, but it could be one of the reasons why. Does it make sense with you? <laughs> okay, so I just want to be able to show you exactly what this is. So this is your right foot, me looking at it from top down. So this is what your right foot looks like. Um, I'm not able to actually show you um, your foot on the camera as easily, but I just want to be able to let you know this is a, um, the, you, you remember the small bump the side of your big yeah. toe? This is called bunion right here. Bunion. Bunion, yeah. So this is a, uh, one of the things that you've been having. Also, you had a small hammering of the toes, hammer toes. One, two, three, four. This is also can be seen on the, on the uh, x-rays here too. So what does that mean? It just means that you're starting to develop a lot of different kind of a, um, um, deformities in your foot because there's just so much pressure. And then the fact that the ankle is not in proper um, the place, it also adds more pressure for the foot to have extra workload. Does it make sense with you? Yeah. Whatever is not working on the foot, some other area has to must pick up the slack. So if your ankle is not providing certain amount of a uh, range of motion or movements to your body, Areas like your big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, even this area has to kind of compensate and make more movement because there's not so much movement that's coming through the ankle joint. Does it make sense with you? Yeah. So yeah. this is one of the things that I want to be able to, be able to show you. So this is your left foot, look from the sideways. Just want to be able to also be able to print out the same thing. I don't know if you're able to tell, um, I'm going to try to see if I can also show you your, your, your right foot. So notice the spaces between on your, on your left foot. I understand that the, uh, the this point right here is also more forward, but you notice that the uh, soft tissue or the muscles actually still kind of erect. So this is your quote unquote norm. You see that the space in between the between the uh, the front of the foot and the behind the foot is more or less even. Yes, do you notice the differences? There's a um, almost even spaces throughout. Yes. Yeah. But I'm going to go ahead and put back the uh, the right foot one more time. And if I go ahead and put the right foot one more time here, and then you'll be able to see, voila, wow. there's a big differences. A lot more gapping on the uh, back of the yeah. um, back of the ankle as opposed to the front of the ankle. So this is your right foot. That kind of really confirms me that you have a problems in the right ankle, especially the bone aspect also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just gonna leave this a little bit. You're not gonna fall. You're not gonna I know. I know that you will lift it. Oh. There we go. Did you feel that? So you have a pain right here, yes? Yes. Right here. 
So you have a little rotation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and then... Oh! Did you hear that? Yeah. Okay, now walk around for me, please. Oh my goodness. This is a miracle. No, no, no. Walk around, see how it feels. I haven't touched your foot yet. I don't have any pain. Around. Turn around and, and then I, um, so, so you feel good? I feel... I, I, 89, I, 90%. I haven't even touched your foot yet. I, I, I still haven't touched your foot. I still haven't addressed your foot. All I did was your low backs and your knees that are actually providing problems to your feet. Do you feel more stable on your ankle now? Yes. I'm more stable in my knees too. Look at this. I can do this. I can do this, uh, doctor. I, I didn't... I haven't done this since November 24 last year. December. Well, I'm glad that you're feeling better. <laughs> Seven months. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, foot in the right place, okay? okay? So you're going to just relax. There we go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, ankle in the right place. Okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in traction just a little bit and then put it back. There we go. There we go. All the uh, all the treatments are done for today. So do you remember that there has been some weakness in, on your fourth and then fifth toes as well as the side of the foot, right? Yeah. Like I said, um, all the nerve that has been supplied to those areas was your tailbone area and your low back. Also, I told you your right, your right knee has been also been affecting these problems also, yes? Yeah. So what I'm going to ask you to do is we're going to do the same test again to see if I made an improvement or not. Sounds good? Okay. Alright, your first big toe, push down please. It was pretty good before, so it's still pretty good now. Wow, it's really strong now. Go ahead and push down with the second toe. Hey, I'm so happy. Because... Okay. That's pretty good. Third toe. That's good. Fourth toe was very weak. Do you remember that? Yeah. Before you went, try it. Let's yeah. try it. Whoa, don't break my finger, please. Do you notice it's a night and day difference? Do you notice the difference? Yes, of course. Fifth, wow, don't break my toes, please. You see, you see the differences? Thank you so much. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Dr. Lee. Okay, Thank push you. up. Do you remember you couldn't push up before? Yeah. Wow, it's very strong. Okay, do you remember there was a weakness to the uh, inside and outside? Yeah. Nerve restorations are much faster than muscles and bone restoration. So if I did my jobs properly, you should also see increase of a um, strength on those areas as well too. Inside was weak. Do you remember that? Yeah. Push inside, please. Much better. Do you notice the differences? Yes. Yes, of course. This was weak. Do you remember that? Yeah. Push out, please. Wow. Ah. Do you also remember there was some weakness that you're pushing down? No. Yeah. Do you remember that? Push yes. down, please. So much better, I'll say about 70-80% better. Do you agree with me on the both sides? Slightly still weak on this side, which means that we still have some work to do, but much better than before. Do you notice the differences? Okay. It's like a miracle. So how do you feel after all the treatments? Tell me how you feel. Walk around and see how it feels for me, please. I feel without pain. I feel more secure walking. I, I don't know if I am more aware or the adjustment makes me walk in arm, more harmoniously. Uh -huh. I don't, I think that I don't press too much 